Hi, my name is Elsie, I'm the president of Northumbria University's Horror Society. So I'm back again with another video. I thought this week I would do Poison Ivy. So please excuse the mess in the background. Um, I'm starting with a mint green base. This took a really long time to lay down like a base layer because this paint is very light, so it's harder to you know, get full coverage of, um, as well as the fact that I was doing my face and my neck and my chest. So I've cut out a lot of footage for you. I'm just using a little makeup sponge to get underneath my eyes um, and around my eyelids. I wasn't too bothered about making that completely opaque because I know that the um, eyeshadow later on will probably cover a lot of that up. I've also clipped my hair back, which I always forget to do. <laughs> I'm also now just taking a uh, face paint brush, like a small one, and I'm using that mint green inside my ears. Um, I'm of course doing this to only look good from the front, but if I was doing this for a con or for a party, I'd have to get a friend or something to help me to make sure there's no visible pink bits. All right, so um, next I'm using this holly green um, to contour my face, neck and chest. I actually will be using three types of green for this video. Um, that mint green I put down right at the start, um, this holly green, and then I'm using this much darker sort of, I'm calling it an evergreen green, but <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's a good explanation or not, but you'll see, you'll see. Um, so I'm going back and forth with that mint green and holly green um, because that's what face paint allows you to do. It allows you to build up colours, um, to create nice gradients. And all the snazzery paints I'm using dry really fast. I'm actually using all snazzery in this video. I don't do a fantastic job of my nose <laughs> and forehead. Uh, my forehead is saved by the fact that I forgot the wig had a fringe until I actually put it on. So you can't see a lot of that. But my nose is a bit of a disaster and took me a while to get okay. Um, or rather get it to a point that I was happy to leave it at. Um, I think I have left a little bit of that footage in, but I don't think I've left loads in. Yeah, you can see here I'm, I'm looking forward and back in the camera and in my mirror to see if the contour on my cheeks is symmetrical. Um, I'm also trying to get the contour on my nose, which is far too heavy, to look out, to go into the um, cracks of my nose uh, where my nostrils are and I'm just going back in over the top of everything with a lighter green just to get everything to blend together oh look there we go here comes all the <laughs> fiddling with my nose so um, I really enjoyed doing this look because having so many shades of green meant that I could create something that looked very smooth had nice transitions and depth in it. Um, it's also why I like doing black and white makeup because for the same reason I have a grey, I have a white and I have a black. Um, I think if I was to get another shade of green I'd like to get a, a sort of you know candy apple green because that would be really nice. Oh, contouring my neck, neck took forever. <laughs> so I'm not the most bony person in the world um, so a lot of this is guesswork on my part. Um, I also just find it really boring doing my chest, neck and I do my arms later on as well <laughs> and it just takes forever honestly if I had another person helping me I definitely would have made them do that <laughs> I struggle to make the chest not look um, too 2D so I'm going back over it with the lighter green as well as medium and darker shades um, just trying to get it to look not natural but in a way that when you're looking straight at me it's not the first thing you look at and I'm more or less finished I think I'm just getting my like um, decolletage looking nice it didn't occur to me to do my collarbones until right at the end so <laughs> Um, next I'm taking a clean sponge again, I use a different sponge for every face paint um, and I'm taking that evergreen and I'm putting that just in, you know, very sparingly wherever I want the most depth. So I'm using it mainly in my cheekbones, I use some around my forehead, I don't think I do any on my nose because I actually learn from my mistakes <laughs> sometimes. Um, 
Yeah, so I just use a little bit around the outside, just making that. I'm using the light green again, just trying to make that into a nice sort of gradient. I've also found that while doing your jaw contour, it works a lot better to pack on the darkest colour right at the curve of where it meets your throat because that creep sets back the neck further and it looks most natural from the front. Looks less like you've got a chin strap as well. Um, so I'm just bringing that down my neck a little bit, struggling to blend it in a little bit. <laughs> what I'm doing to blend it is I'm taking that um, holly green and it's it's the paint's already on the sponge, I'm not re-wetting it, and I'm using that as like a, a dry coat to rub everything in. So next is eyebrows. Um, I'm using this red eyeshadow I got from a very cheap palette that I think I bought originally when I was doing Poison Ivy. Um, I very quickly realised that it wasn't very good. Um, even back when I bought it, it wasn't fantastic, but it, you know, it really wasn't building up colour. It wasn't very precise. Um, I had to really rub the brush on it to get anything out. So what I've decided to do is I get a little um, little face painting brush and I put some of the crimson red I have on it. And I, at first I'm doing it like it's individual hairs, um, but I do move on to just using it quite loosely all over to lay down some actual colour and then I go over the top of it with the red eyeshadow. I found that by doing that, the, you know, the pigment of the red eyeshadow would stick to the wet face paint and it would, it would look a lot better in the end. I had a lot of trouble with the eyebrow I'm doing right now. Um, I don't know why. I just couldn't get it to look good. I really wasn't happy with it. I do end up, um, <laughs> butchering it a little bit as I'm trying to get it straight with the other one. I eventually turn off the camera out of frustration, which I'm sure you'll see, and I do it off camera. Not that that made much of a difference, I think just knowing that I didn't have the camera rolling and that I wasn't going to have to speed up all the footage <laughs> calmed me down enough to fix it. I don't know. But I'm just using a little bit of the mint green, there we go, see? A little bit of the mint green just to tidy up the edges. Um, next, I'm taking that same red eyeshadow and I'm putting it under my eye, um, just below my bottom lashes. I'm feathering it out and sort of upwards. I didn't want it to look like I was sick, but I wanted it to uh, bring the red into my eye makeup. Otherwise, it was just going to be red eyeshadow on my eyebrows and then my red wig and that and red lipstick and that would be it. Um, I also did this so that it would hide how patchy the face paint was below my eye. Um, I'm now taking a dark olive green and I'm using that to create the shadows um, contour of my eye. Very basic, just makeup, you know, routine stuff. You know, you're creating a shadow, um, you're emphasising the shapes that are already there. I then use about three different shades of green going over that um, contour. I, you didn't. Need, you don't need to do that. Um, I just wasn't really sure how all the colours would act on the face paint, so oh, I made a mess. <laughs> I try and get that off with a sponge. Um, I packed them all on, and it also gave me a lot of time just to think about what I was going to do on my actual eyelid. So what I do is I get this green out of my Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette, which doesn't do an awful lot, but it does sort of add this more holly-ish tinge. I then take this really bright and sparkly green out of my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I put that all over my eyelid and I really like how that looks. It's the right shade of green, it really pops. I think it blends really well with the shade of the shadowing. Um, I then, I wanted to use the eyeshadow again, the red one, to uh, replicate what I did on my lower lash line with the red on the upper lash line, but it, it just wasn't strong enough. So I took the red lipstick that I was going to put on and I put a little bit on a brush and I used that instead. And it actually worked really well and it wasn't uncomfortable. Um, I think it picks up the amount, you know, pops with enough amount of colour um, without looking like I'm ill again, as I said. Um, I apologise for my throat sounds crackly, by the way. It's just <laughs> not been great recently. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing my lipstick now. Um, I struggled with this again, 
but I always struggle with lipstick. <clears throat> I can't really tell you why. I think I struggle with my upper lip most because um, I don't really have an upper lip, so it's mainly just drawing it on and I tend to get a bit carried away. Um, I think this one turned out okay. I do end up having to um, smudge the bridge a little bit just to make it look a little bit more natural. I then just put on some mascara. This mascara I never use, honestly. It looks nice in photographs, but I don't know why, but when I wear this in day to day, um, I don't think my eyes like it very much and they always end up streaming with tears. Um, so I thought I was more or less finished here. I wanted to put on false eyelashes, but I couldn't find any glue for them. I promise someday I will wear false eyelashes in one of these videos. Um, so I'm just going around with that mint green on a brush, just fixing everything up. Um, and I decided what was missing. So I went and got the um, highlighter palette out that I just happened to own. It's a real cheap one. And I tried to use the golds and the shimmery sort of pale colours. Um, I'm not really sure if they come up as highlight on the actual footage or the pictures, but I do think they make that part of my face look brighter. I then take this red blusher I have and just give a little bit of colour to my cheeks. Not too much, but just a little bit to make me look more alive. I take a little bit of the colour off because <laughs> I made a bit of a mess. And I paint my hands and I put on a wig. Uh, yeah, so that's the final look. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys next week. I'll be doing some more videos. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Like and subscribe for more.